Hey, so what is going on everyone? Got a follow-up video here to share with all of you my experience so far with the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition a graphics card. So mine's in there behind the glass. I've only had it, you know, a couple of days now and the back plate there gets extremely hot to touch. Make sure you have room in your case and you have some good cooling going on in there unless you're gonna install a water block on this card. It gets very, very hot when you're actually playing a game. I have Grand Theft Auto V loaded up there. I was playing LSPDFR and I also have a gauge up here monitoring temperatures and things and this little guy uses some serious power. I also have over here, it's kind of like a surge protector, uh, smart ups. I think it's a trip light 1050 SLT. So far uh, since I got the card, I've noticed that thing, the fan kicking on every time I actually press like escape to play the game. So right now I'll try and like show you guys what I'm talking about. First, before we look at that, let's just look at this little chart. So when I press escape to play the game, look at the power consumption jump up to like 243, almost 245. I'll press escape again and it goes all the way back down to 165. Okay, let me come out here and I'll show you. So every time I press escape and I'm actually have the game loaded, you can see the difference in the power consumption. It's drawing some serious power. And one thing I've noticed too is when I press escape on my keyboard down here, listen to this power backup. So that's me turning, I was basically, you know, pressing escape to play the game like this. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's running like crazy. So it's drawing too much power from that unit down there. Now, all my options is, you know, is to plug the thing directly into a power outlet in the wall, which is fine, or upgrade that monstrous thing back there. But I don't really feel like doing that because they can be very expensive to get into the higher end ones for the bigger appliances. But this card definitely likes power, which is fine. And it actually, you know, I'm really happy with it. It's playing games at 4k 60 frames a second just fine so from what i was coming from uh i had the gtx 1070 the gtx 1080 none of them affected were affected over there by that thing you know i didn't hear no fans coming on nothing like that so this card does the trick as far as that thing so i may have to plug it directly into the wall so i have an 850 watt power supply it's a seasonic i think it's titanium ultra titanium or something like that but it's definitely good enough for the video card you need a 650 watt power power supply for that card at least and I mean of course you know if you're gonna have one larger that's fine too but I know this is efficient for the video card no issues with this but it has hybrid mode and regardless if I have hybrid mode on or off this thing over here still comes on so it really doesn't matter it's still drawing a lot of power and real quick some of these numbers you're looking at like where it says GPU temperature it says 66 that goes from like 66 to 75 when I'm playing this game in 4k 60 frames a second and when this card is just sitting idle it's like around 33 to 34 degrees this little thing called tech power up gpu z is pretty awesome gives you a little you know idea of what's going on with the graphics card so don't be surprised if you get this card and with your particular setup you need to make some adjustments with some stuff no big deal there it's just basically upgrading more stuff or adjusting to the new upgrade definitely an awesome card i'm keeping it i love it it actually works with adobe pro c doing all my editing and stuff on my computer like super super fast and you know when it's just sitting in there in normal operation it does not get extremely hot it's just when you're gaming I've noticed it draws a lot of power and it gets really hot so be prepared for that if you do buy it so a water block would be a good idea in the future or something like that but it does what it's supposed to do and I'm really happy with it just leave comments and questions below guys and I guess I will see you all in the next video